Okay guys, so here the posts are in. Now I've put the screws in, the nylon screws for the power distribution board. I'll get onto that when we do the electronics, like I said. Um, I've put in um, these stands which are um, noise reduction. They're um, the, the rubberized ones. I can't remember what the proper names are for them, but they're the rubberized ones. So when you put your flight controller on, even though the flight controller I'm using doesn't have a particularly sensitive um, electronics accelerometer, it's uh, it's still good just to put those like, rubber type standoffs on anyway. Um, now, this is something worth noting. When you fit your camera, of course, you're going to want to put your camera in. But you've also got to put this on before you um, before you clamp the the arms on, else you won't be able to again get underneath. Now, I'm not sure what it's like with the original model of this, and I'm sure uh, <laughs> I'm sure uh, one of the viewers will be able to tell me, but. There isn't really a lot of screw sort of gap here. I mean, you can't put a normal, one of these normal screws through that I've used for everything else. It just won't fit. So I'm going to have to use my little Dremel copy and just grind away in there slightly, just enough for me to be able to get a screw through um, and then so I can actually bolt that down. I could try just putting the screw through and seeing if I can cut a thread into this, but I prefer to stick a bolt on the underneath um, and tighten that up. Personally, that's how I prefer to do it. Now, uh, you know, this is um, these were the same size camera. I think they're like 19. I can't remember what the size of these are, but was that will fit in there? This is my, even though it says owl on there, it's actually a Swift, uh, Swift two. And I'm going to put that in here because it's the only one I've really got to spare to go in here. And I need the bigger frame on this as well. And I'll get around to that a little bit later. But the difference between these two frames is this one's 3.2 grams. And this one's 2 grams. So again, in the interest of just keeping the, keeping the weight down, I'll be putting this one on. And, uh, and we'll just see where we go from there. Yeah. So that's something to bear in mind as well, that you want to fit your camera bracket before you put these together. And make sure, well, I don't know if you do or don't, but it's sometimes a good idea to have some of this Loctite stuff. Uh, this is just like the um, blue. Um, and then you can just dab that each of these screws when they go into these posts. It will help stop the posts from coming out. Now, we didn't do it when I first built this. When I first built this one, I, I didn't do that at all, and it hasn't caused me a problem at all. But, you know, you, you may want to, you, you may not. It's up to you. If you've got it, I'd say use it. Um, yeah, so that's that. So that's, that's that ready to go. Like I said, I'm going to drill through these little bits so I can fit that. And, um, and then we'll come back and we'll look at the electronics. So here we go then, this is, um, this is how you want to have it before you put the arms on. Now I've used a little nylon um, screw, like bolt type fashion things and nuts underneath. They're not tight enough, again, if you've got any of the, um, if you've got any of this stuff, this little uh, thread locker, I'll put it on. You don't have to. Um, Again, with the, the last build that I did, it didn't seem to be a problem at all. But if you've got it, you know, you've got the option there. So, like I say, there we go, we're ready. Now, all I'm going to do now before I put my arms on is I'm going to solder these into place because I'm going to bring them up through here. I'm going to solder these into place. I think that's actually the wrong way around, just for the right on the. So then I've got my cables in. For my battery. Okay. All right. Just a uh, handy little come tip. Come back when I've done that soldering. bit. If you've got a soldering station, that's fine. If that's the case. You'll probably already know this. You may not. You may have just got your soldering station. But use a wider. I don't know what I've got on here. That's probably going to be wide enough. But I wouldn't just go ahead with one of the really thin tips because 
you want to get this quite hot because you don't want to leave it on the pad too long. And if you've got any, uh, I've got one kicking around here somewhere, a little bit of um, flux, just to help it seep into these two pads. Then just tin the pad gently first, tin your wires so you've got plenty of solder actually in the wire. And then when you go to place those on, it's going to be a lot quicker then for it to solder in rather than having a thinner tip and then spending quite a lot of time um, trying to get this warm enough oh, I hope you can see that, sorry I'm trying to get this warm enough you would be better off with it on quite warm I'm going to put mine up to about 165 for this and then uh, just get that tinned get that side tinned I'll probably go around and do the rest of the tinning as well um, just so it's done, just so it's ready and then, uh, and then we'll come back to you. So, there we go then, guys. Uh, we've put the camera mount on. Got all the screws into the arms are on. Nice. And we've got our power distribution board. Um, we've got our uh, main discharge cable there. You know, this isn't a discharge cable. That's what we'll attach to the discharge on the, on the battery. Okay, so, right, I suppose we can do a quick little go over of the, um, of the power supply, of the power distribution board. Now, like I said, um, I've used mica just to insulate my own from the frame. Um, whether it was cause a problem or not, I don't know, but in this configuration it won't cause a problem anyway. Uh, I've tinned all of the connections I want to use apart from over on this side with the VTX and the cameras because I haven't decided because I don't know if you can see that let's just um, zoom in if we can and hopefully that's in focus well I hope you can see that but um, we've got a options there for whether we want the camera at 5 volt, 12 volt or VCC and the same for the VTX or the camera might just be 5 volt and 12 volt I can't actually see with my eyes from here so I hope you can see on there and because I don't know not quite never mind up yet what's going to go on there um, not going to do that just at the moment so so yeah we're ready now to put the ESCs and the motors on and get those connected up to the distribution board here I think we'll look at that in the next one and we'll have that since so just the, uh, the frame parts you know I've, I've used this just because this was already here so I've used this base but this is already on here it's a shame to waste this because it does work where's the uh, battery it does work really well especially if you've got some screws that stick up here these ones here are a little bit short, these ones are a little bit long, but it's all I've got. So it's what I'll have to use. But at least I know that I'm going to be clear of those when the battery goes on. This is great stuff. There we go. Get in there. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, like I say, see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.